Today is an exciting day because we managed to score ourselves something that people are going to be waiting three to four weeks, minimum four, most likely like eight weeks, uh, and that is, of course, the new iPhone. Uh, I don't know anything about the new iPhone, except that it's new. I have decided that it will be more exciting to find out everything about it uh, as I unbox it. So, there you go. Can you get that full from me? You guys are making me nervous. When I take your breath, you fill up my lungs. And if my mind work backwards just for a minute, I hold on to you before the memory's gone. I remember you. You left my spirit. With you high is all I feel in. Remember how we felt alive. But here's the moment of truth. We're gonna open it. Nice packaging. One silky move and it's all undone. We got the 256 gigabyte one, which seems kind of ridiculous to me, but from what I understand, there's only this option or like a 64 gigabyte, which seems very, very small. So um, once again, Apple has made kind of limited choices for those of us who are on more of a budget. It's just black. It's just black. There's no buttons. There's not a button in sight. There's just like a speakerphone hole and I guess camera lens. I don't know. Wow. It's really, really slick. It feels like just like one piece of metal. It doesn't feel like a phone at all. And it's so small. Compare that. I'm not sure what to think about this. The camera is sideways too, so I guess you're supposed to hold it like this. Maybe not. That's what I would think anyways. <laughs> because maybe they're trying to make it more of a camera. No. I'm getting a head shake now, so that's probably a no. Well, I'm not actually even sure how you're supposed to turn this phone on. I guess maybe the side buttons. Because there's no, like, front <laughs> anything. <laughs> but, oh, I think I just turned it on. Something that makes me a little bit sad is, again, they included the old headphones with a dongle, which seems a little bit silly to me that even with this phone they're doing that, but I mean, I guess to be fair, the wireless are so amazing that it's worth the separate purchase. So it comes with cords, nothing new. I'm not being very good to this. All right, so it looks like we turned this on, but we're gonna need Rick's face, I think, to set it up. So. Let's go find his face. Time to take off the most satisfying part of opening any new phone, and that's the little plastic cover. Delicious sound. Wow, it looks really good. It looks really good. Time to set it up. Although I don't really know what to do. Swipe to open. Go which way? I'm upside down, so it's hard. Oh, it goes up. That's so weird. It's supposed to go sideways, no? Nobody then. We're off to a good start now. Canada, and I don't actually know much about this, it seems. This is gonna be interesting, so look. What? See, I'm asking you to yeah. do this. You want a passcode? I wanna make your passcode so you can't get no, it. No, but you know what my passcode is. <laughs> don't show them. So what do you think of it so far? I think I'm really confused about how you're going to be able to use this phone without a button. <laughs> a few moments later. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> you're not supposed to say that. I'm supposed to add it in the editing. A few moments later. Face ID. Should I use my face so that you can't unlock it? No, let me do this. The honor, please. This is apparently the fun part. Do you see it's showing me to do this noisy stuff? You see it? What are you doing? Yeah, I understand. You're oh, moving look. your nose. Look. Check it out. So it finds my face. You gotta be a little shorter. Oh, it's vibrating. That's so crazy. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh my gosh. Okay, we're so restoring from backup. Yeah, you don't have a backup. How did you not back up your phone? I don't know. Should I? <laughs> <laughs> Lesson 101. Always back up your phone. All right, so we are now backing up the old phone because we did not do that before. That hopefully should just take a few moments and then we'll be able to use the backup on this new phone, which I'm still shocked about. Look, like it's like literally the whole thing's just screen, but the screen's even longer. It's like, yeah, you're saving quite a bit of space here. And it's a lot narrower, I think, too, is it? It is, it's definitely narrower. But why would they do that? That's odd. It's I guess it's, it's what? It's, it's, it's good edge to edge. It's kind of like basal, as you see here, they have like a small base. But I still feel like it's gonna be really difficult to hold regardless, just because it's like, it's really slippery and slick. Like it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. 20 minutes later. So this process of backing up to the iCloud is taking a while. Probably since this phone is completely, completely full and it's like 100 something gigabytes. So we're gonna hold off on that. We're just gonna start a new setup of the iPhone, which will also take a few moments. The camera overheated, unfortunately, so we had to take a little break to eat some burritos. But now we're back. Ooh, ooh. I forgot how exciting it is. I was gone for like 15 minutes, but I forgot how exciting it is. Okay, come look. Let's go. We're gonna agree, of course. We'll agree. We will agree without reading. voicemail <laughs> oh my gosh this is exciting I like the background was this your background or is this the phone background phone background it's really nice so we got a bunch of new wallpapers that are supposed to be live right oh I have this one on my phone but I haven't seen this one this side you lock it that's cool I like it this will do, but it's not like anything crazy. What am I supposed to do? Look at it. I'm looking at it. Fully. Now talk. Hello. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the most ridiculous thing ever. Try to press record and see what happens, because it's going to send it to you as a message. All right. Let's see. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Next, what we have to check out is the camera because it's supposed to be fantastic. Um. So this is the footage, which seems pretty, oof, really detailed. My goodness. Let's see. Oh yes. <laughs> That's really high def. Even the background. Wow. Impressive. What? Oh my gosh. But this is... That's crazy! That's crazy pants! Oh my gosh! That looks like we're in a studio. 
See with that, that's really cool. I'm impressed. I mean, I don't look very good here, but that's, that's still impressive quality of camera. Whoa, that's bonkers. That's crazy. Are you guys seeing this? That's nuts. Oh my God, I need this phone now. Ooh, did that move? I thought I saw it move. Oh, it's a live photo, but it I didn't move in it, that's odd. Okay, let's see this. Oh, that's crazy. Uh. You can actually pinch on your too. Yeah, in case you really want to see me slow-mo there. <laughs> Cool, it's just wow, insane. it's so crazy. It looks insane. I'm in so much shock right now. Okay, you can have this one. No, no, I insist. No, 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 I insist. Thank you very much. The really cool thing about this phone that I didn't see before is that because of the front facing 3D mapping, you can actually change the lighting that you have as a setting on selfies, which is insane if you think about that. Like you can actually take good quality photos of yourself without having to like do like some crazy three mirrors and selfie sticks and I don't know, you know? That's really cool, so let's try it out. Did I take it? No. <laughs> these are really good quality photos. Like these look like they're actually studio quality photos. I'm impressed. So something that a lot of people have been complaining about with this phone is the fact that to get to this setting you have to go so far up. With people with smaller hands, it's probably pretty annoying having to, you know, hold it like this and then go all the way to the top, use a different hand. But luckily there's a workaround. First, you have to make sure that you install the latest update because even though it's come out just a couple weeks ago, there's already an update to solve this challenge for you. So you go into settings after you have updated you go to accessibility and then turn on reachability. This is only gonna show up after you update the software, so make sure you do that first, otherwise you're gonna be confused like we were trying to look for it. So basically what this does is we are going to exit this and say we are in some app and we wanna do this menu. All you have to do is go down and the whole screen comes down so you can reach this a lot easier and that's gonna be a lot easier if you're actually holding it from the bottom. So there you go, there's your first hack of the day for the new iPhone. Okay, so I think that something funny to try would be to unlock his phone with a picture of him. Unlock. Come on, it's his face. <laughs> it's not working. So if you try to get in too many times with a picture, it sort of blocks okay, so one Will it work time? now? It unlocked this thing? Yeah, you just tried too many times. I tried too much, many times with a picture. I wants to install some new software, so let's do that. Oh, it locked again. It doesn't like me at all. The reason why I wanted to try that is because I really wanted to actually send an emoji to him from my phone, because I'm like, it has a front camera. That should work too. Why can't I use an emoji with it? But apparently it's that there's new 3D technology, uh, 3D mapping technology in the front camera, so that's why you can't use just a picture to unlock someone's phone, and it's also why you're not really ever gonna be able to use an emoji with the older phones, which, you know, maybe are just a year or two old even. I am just absolutely in shock. Like, opening up this phone, I wasn't totally, like, thinking it's gonna be something crazy. It looks really cool because it doesn't even look like it has a screen, it just looks like one tablet thing of like metal. 
but I am absolutely blown away at how fast it is, at how smooth like the UI is, and even just the camera is insane. Like those portrait shots, I'm gonna insert some here so you can have a look at what you can take with this. Uh, they're just phenomenal, guys. They're just phenomenal. And I'm really definitely considering that if, you know, something happens to this phone mysteriously, uh, I might trade in for one of these because that's a, it's a pretty impressive upgrade, you know? Like size-wise, smaller, about the same thickness. I would say maybe even a little bit more thick, but it's like solid and it's, it's good. This one still feels like an iPhone, I feel like. This, I feel like it actually feels like something new, which I'm really surprised at because I didn't expect iPhone to come out with something that really felt new. But uh, it does, and it's beautiful. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I'm gonna go play around with the camera in this phone and insert some more clips and pictures here so that you guys can get an idea of what it's like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. It really helps my channel and be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every week. Bye.